Good morning, it's Crazy Okoot here. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. Um, so I am doing an old game review, as in the game is old. It's a new review uh, on Wizardry Eight by Sirtak. Um, this game was a absolute favorite in this household. Uh, if you started playing the game, when Sirtek came on, there's a certain music that comes on, you'll hear it. And if anybody in the house heard that music, they'd come running, saying, you playing Wizardry 8? You playing Wizardry 8? So, uh, and it's not just this family. Uh, this game won all kinds of awards in 2001. Most, it was the considered the one of the best RPG games of the year um, it was it's an absolutely great game and it's not a click fest it's turn-based so you don't have to have super fast reflexes a lot of thinking it's not easy but it's not super hard either um, also if you happen it's on GOG and I guess it's on Steam too for about 10 bucks and you probably if you patient you come on sale and you can get it cheaper um, so with that let's roll the intro Before the beginning, the Cosmic Lords crafted three artifacts. First was the Astral Domine, infused with the power of life itself. Next, the Chaos Moleri, source of all change. Last was the Destiny Dominus, containing all knowledge. The Lords created the very first world using these artifacts, Planet Dominus, and placed it next to the Cosmic Circle. When the work of creation was finished, the Lords hid the items using the Cosmic Forge, and so their secrets remained hidden for a time. Then the unthinkable happened. The cosmic forge was stolen. The magic concealing the three items failed. News of the artifacts spread throughout the countless worlds. With it spread an even more unbelievable rumor. Whoever obtains all three will gain the powers of the cosmic lord. The astral domine was first of the three to be found. Hidden on a remote world, it was the subject of a bitter war between the militant Umpane, the devious Trang, and the Dark Savant. In the end, the Dark Savant gained the Astral Domine. Within it, he found a map pointing to Dominus. The Chaos Moleri was discovered half a galaxy away. The Mook found the device when it tore through a nearby moon with unbelievable force. When the Mook recovered the object, they too discovered a map. The Destiny Dominus collected dust in a remote monastery on Dominus for uncounted years, its true powers concealed with magic rift by the forge. But the Destiny Dominus is no longer there. A madman named Martin stole it, they say. And Martin has vanished. A new age is about to begin. A new page will be written in the Book of Fate. 
It is the time of the ascension and the dawning of a new destiny. Who will prove worthy? Who will become cosmic lords themselves? Yeah.